Hello YouTube, just a short video for something to post. Ain't this a nice container I found, it was given to me? It's all my little parts. But we want to save these bushings, make bushings out of these. We're going to cut these off with a Dremel. We have to drill them out a little bit with whatever bit. It's a 6 millimeter bolt. And I think it's a 7 30 seconds drill bit. Clean up a few washers. Just some 60 grit sanding disc. Just sit there and rub them around. I do that a lot on the table here. And some painter tarnish. And we got always put an extra nut. You know, say you got two bolts, nut. Put an extra nut on there in case you lose one. We'll be back. We'll drill this out and get these cut off with the Dremel. And hopefully we might find a couple other little parts but because that'll hold quite a bit more for a little jig here. If you haven't watched this, well, I don't know what to tell you. You not, must not be sub to me then. Uh, I never ask anybody to like, subscribe, sub. I just don't do that. I figured somebody finds me, they like my channel, they'll sub to me. So we'll be back. We get a few more things in the kit there, and then we'll put it away. This will go in one of my uh, machinist supply drawers somewhere. Uh, and I also mentioned this can be used at the drill press too. For like when I had trouble making them little parts, so I have drilled with a one sixteenth inch drill bit on that press when it was new. Eight inch is about the common size, of the, and that's where I messed up these pieces. Remember, I showed these pieces over here where I got off. If I would have drilled an eighth inch hole first, I probably wouldn't have got off on it. I was trying to clamp it in my vise. So, if I would have drilled it out on that piece of metal before I cut it up, the holes probably would have been better. So, maybe we'll go, yeah, we'll do that. We'll go over to the drill press and give you some options before this video is over of how to mount this on the drill, just for holding parts to drill. There, there's a bonus for today, so stay tuned. Correction, 15 64th bit. That's 1 64th under quarter inch. Next, we'll cut them off with a Dremel. You know we're going to use them on something when we... That's why I'm saving them. This thing's got a lot of torque. Not advertised either. It's got a lot of torque. It really does. Okay, your tip of the day to keep breaking these blades. You ever been cut, trying to cut something apart and you end up breaking the blade at the end? Stop! Whoa, back up. Start over again. You see that? That's not cut all the way through. Stop cutting. You can see where this one's bent down. Take your pliers and break it off. Even on thick steel, like say you're cutting uh, the other day when I cut that hole out of here. Don't cut all the way through. You, you, when you're using a Dremel blade, I just keep getting close to it. See, I use my camera to look through. And right now I have my glasses off with my goggles on so I can see up close. So I tend to use my camera to come in and look at something. So bad if I want to quit ramming you in there. We're going to crash into the moon. Anyway. Ain't fun, I don't want to do it. Aha! See that? That gives your gap to bend it. See down there where it, where it bends over? See that gap? When I pull this down, how it'll bend? Well, back and forth. There, now you can see what I'm trying to tell you. You know what I mean. Yeah, I want the show. I just can't resist this. See that? I said that gives your gap to bend back. Look at that. A little bit of grinding. I got me a couple little bushings. Who'd ever think of that? You need some bushings. You can't buy nothing, but you go into the hardware store and find you those cheap door hinges. And you don't care about having a seam. I could braise that together if I had to. I am always making stuff out of scrap. There you go. You don't know what you're working on. You might need a bushing. If you recycle, you might find some hinges in the garbage. I even had a bolt around here somewhere. I don't know where it went. I guarantee you had the bolt in there. You see me drilling it. Yep. Not bragging. But boy, when I get through a job without breaking a cutter disc. Whew. 
I do more stuff with this. So if you don't have one of these, it doesn't matter what the tool looks like. The flexible shaft and the things hanging up. Oh man, you can get in there like, I'm glad this is just a goof off. You can get in there and you can work, you can become an amateur dentist. No, don't think you can do that. Stop. Disclaimer. <laughs> amateur dentist. Okay. I'm going to show you how nice this is. This is just with the grinder stone. See that? Just take your time. You can run lengthways, but then start rolling around it. And then with the sanding drum. Back off down. Yeah, it's good practice. You're going to make small parts and stuff. You might as well practice on something. There, I got some nice little bushings there. Add the kit. Oh, I decided to save this. I'm going to leave this all together and put it in the bottom of the kit. Because you never know. I just save it. What's this made by? No. Oh. Just cheap hinge. They're probably only a few bucks. Okay, I'll take a picture of all this mess and put it in. Always look for my pictures because I'll show you some things I might not be talking about and what tools I used. Okay, we got some more little pieces. You remember the other day when I showed you when I was building that? Put a little mark for a square. This is factory. This hinge has been cut off. I just cut the rollers off there. So that's factory. That's factory straight. I even got my square to check it. I did clean my block up a little bit. There you go. We're going to put this in the bottom of the kit for future use. We got a couple of bushings. We have a nice little kit when we're done. Now we just need to build something with all these parts. Tools, I should say. Well, considered what? Parts of a tool. And there we go. I got that hinge piece hid down here in the bottom. There's my little bushings. See, there's that hinge piece. The, I'll probably be using these a lot. And I noticed I was thinking of whatever moving us around, and I needed some bushings. Looks like a little bit of rust on there. These may be modified with a hole drilled somewhere, but at least I have them. Uh, I have a couple of skinnier bolts in here. Just in case I run into something odd. And I got two long ones just in case I have something tall. These are probably about an inch and a quarter. And these are probably about two inch. Do not ask me what came in that box. Someone gave it to me. I found it somewhere. There you go. Nice little kit. Now here's the big thing. What if I tip it over again? Try not to tip that stuff over. What's it like if it shifts back and forth? It's going to go in my machinist drawer or in my machinist supply drawer. I have a, I should take a picture of that and show you, but you see my toolbox years ago, but I could give you an update of stuff that's crammed in there. Uh, what's your opinion of enough people? I thought about bringing Sunday in the shop back. Um, I've never complained about, I'm trying to complain, I'm not getting enough views, but I never really got enough views or comments on it, so I just lost interest. Um... Uh, I'm going to start asking that question here through a few videos that gets towards winter time. Uh, I'll tell you why I want to bring Sunday in the shop back. Uh, but not in this video. I'm going to have probably a video on that why I want to bring Sunday in the shop back. Why I want to. Because all these little videos and stuff, if you're bored, I, I'd rather make like a 15 minute video and give you more content than... You know, two or three videos. Like this. You know, I've already made a video on a jig and the parts. So, let's see what I mean. Sending the shop, I can just ramble on for 15, 20 minutes. And if you're bored, uh, you got something better than watching TV on the weekend. There. That'll get you to thinking. I watch a lot of YouTube. I would, I'll tell you right now before I leave. I have two Western channels. And I cannot tell you the name. But, one of them I think is Cinnabolt, and there is movies on there, westerns, I have never seen before. So, I'm watching stuff besides the 
the old classics everybody's seen. So, no, I don't watch a whole lot of TV, like Perry Mason at night and different stuff. And sometimes I watch it while I'm on YouTube. So there, up rambling. I'll give you a think about that. You want me to bring back Sunday in the shop? Let's see how many comments there. That's for, what? Geez, I hardly never ask for comments. I'm asking for comments. Who wants to watch it? We're going to keep mentioning this through a few videos because summer's almost over. It's getting towards the middle of August. We're out of here. We had enough. We're done talking.